All right, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Justin Brapp. You're watching the epic, awesome, amazing episode of the Unboxing Authority YouTube channel. I want to make a quick video about this lock really quick because uh, someone sent this to me a while ago. The thing is, is that this lock is a lot better. It's the one in my hand here is a lot better than what I've seen in some of the other reviews on YouTube. So I want to make a video about this really quick and show how this works. So you do get a manual, you get a plastic bag. And it's unlocked right now, so the shackle will go up and down. And that's how it works. But here's here's the thing about this lock. Um, it doesn't really seem to have uh, many vulnerabilities. And it's actually really heavy and pretty tough, actually. So here's what I'm going to show you. First, got to lift the shackle. Then the door will open. Some people say that you can open the door without lifting the shackle. It doesn't work that way. Or that the shackle has two positions, and it kind of does. It kind of has two positions. It's like a halfway and then all the way up. Let's talk about the pros and cons of this really quick. So you can fit keys in here. It's not really wide enough, I don't think, for a whole key ring. I mean, you could just put keys in without the ring, and you could fit a lot of keys in there. But then when you open this door, they're going to fall down into this little drawer here, and hopefully not on the ground or anywhere. So as far as the keys going in the lock, I don't think there's anywhere inside here to tie the keys. Like some, some of these that you get from different companies have a little loop or something inside where you can tie a string and tie it to the keys so they won't fall out. Um, you know, that long string so you can put it to the, the door or whatever. But then it also comes with this tool for resetting the, the combination of the lock. And how that works is, so you pull the shackle up and you turn it over here. And then you take that pin and you stick it in a little hole right here on the side. And when you do that, you can change um, the combination. And then you pull the pin back out. So you push it all the way in and click. And then you pull it out. And then you can put this loop back and your combination will be changed to whatever you set it to. But here's the thing. Somebody said these were really easy to decode. That you could just by playing with these and seeing how loose they were, you could see what the combination was. But I found personally that's not the case. So... With the first, with the first shackle, um, it's loose between eight and one, and the combination is zero. So there's really only two numbers there. When it's loose, you could guess between those two numbers. But on the other, the other uh, sets for the combination here, they're all equally loose. So it doesn't seem like you can discover the combination just by turning um, this lock around. So that's that's what I'd like to debunk about other videos I've seen on this product is that even if you just turn these around, the only one I can even get close to figuring out is the first one. The rest of them are nothing. Now, you might be able to stick a tool in here and try to figure it out, but the thing is, is this really seems like it's upgraded to me uh, compared to what I've seen in the other videos, or maybe someone just got a bad sample. I don't know. Uh, but the door won't open. This door won't open unless you pull the latch up. And that is different to me because I'm a professional property inspector. And when I go out to people's houses to inspect them and they have one of these types of locks on the door, uh, you punch in the code and then this door down here opens. Okay, but that's not the case uh, with this one. You put this down here. You have to have this shackle up in this position in order to get this door to open and shut. And so in that case, again, this whole thing could just be removed from the door um, with it unlocked. So that's why, you know, I don't know. What really interests me the most about this lock is just this lock up here. Um, it's thick and it's heavy and I could put this through something to lock it. Like if I had, you know, two loops or a chain, I could put this through it and lock it. That really interests me. Again, I think the best use of this Oriya lock is with this lock here between two chains. Very sturdy, very stable, and very heavy. If you're looking for a heavy lock as far as the weight, it's going to you know pull down on a chain or whatever, make it more difficult to uh, remove, to mess with, and it makes noise too. See, that's the thing about this. Even if I lock it, it still makes noise. There's movement here, and apparently it's unshimmable. Apparently you can't shim the lock uh, to open it. Um, I, you know, I, like I said, I know some people that might have some tools where they could try to pick this. There's, it's very difficult here to try to get anything in between these numbers and try to get in there and feel anything because there's, the gap is almost non-existent. But it, I mean, there, I, I'm not saying there's not a gap. I'm sure there is, but it's, it's pretty much non-existent. So love the product. All right. Thanks so much. And you can check out the link in the description if you want to get one. It's a very nice lock.
Do you want to learn to follow the commands of the Almighty One True God? If you do, go to ChristianCourts.com. There's a free PDF book you can download, audio book, and video where you can listen and learn God's laws. Make America great again. Help establish Christian law in communities all across the world. God bless you. This video is brought to you today by Blazing Hog 4G LTE. Get blazing fast internet speeds up to 150 megabits per second. You get $49.99 off when you use the code and the phone number in the description of this video or the code right below my finger here, the coupon code. It works anywhere, rain or shine, within five miles of an AT&T or T-Mobile cell tower. Check it out. All you have to do is call 1-888-306-7062 and mention account number SR2808 when you call. Now enjoy the rest of this video. That's an order, son. Don't throw your computer into the recycle bin. Make your computer great again. Go to www.justuselinux.com. If you live in the United States of America, then you need how to win in court because you never know when an organized criminal gang will arrest you and put you in jail because they want your wife. Maybe they want your car. They want your house. They've given you a ticket. Maybe you had to defend yourself against others. And now you're on trial for murder. Well, if you go to How to Win in Court, you've got a better chance of making it through without having any kinds of problems. It happens suddenly when they kidnap you and you're not expecting it. Are you prepared? Be prepared. It's the motto of the Boy Scouts. Come on, be prepared. How to win in court is in the description of this video and in the cards. So unless you want to go to a resort with free cable TV, free cellmate, room and board, I suggest you go to How to Win in Court. So we take the frozen chicken here, okay, frozen chicken, put it into the microwave like this. And we're gonna start our microwave. Oh, it's 
done since the frost. So here's here's what I get every time I try to cook a frozen bird in this microwave. So it's a threat to our family. It's a threat to chicken farmers. It's a threat to everything because I mean that's like some sort of abomination there, isn't it? I mean. Chickens have taken over my YouTube channel. They're in control. They're in control of the camera. I need your help. So make sure that you give to my Patreon and give into all their demands. Check out all my, my links in the description. Subscribe. Quick, because if you don't, I don't know what they're going to do next. Okay, so what happens? We beat the game, now what happens? Bonus. And? Oh, we get to see the credits, okay. I am the commander! Commander of the armies!